I got bees on the porch. I don't bother them because they don't bother me. I like bees. It's a little cloudy today, but that's all right. I still love it. I want the thunder and rain to happen. I don't know. I like thunder. I like rain. I don't know about y'all, but I do. Oh, and share this video because it may help a lot of people. Definitely share this video. Okay? Just to wake up and see palm trees is amazing. But I'm on here to share a lot about the way people think. Alright? And like I said, this book, I recommend you are a badass because a lot of you are badasses and you're doubting yourself. So it says you are a badass, how to stop doubting your great, stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. Everybody could live an awesome life. I get that all the time. Oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. You can do that. You literally can do whatever you want to do. You're limiting yourself. When you say, oh, I can't, I can't, oh, but I got this, oh, but my kids got this, and this, and this, and this, and this. You making excuses for yourself, all right? That's what a lot of people do. They make excuses for themselves. But another thing I wanted to talk about is the negative perception of how you think. Okay, so you had a relationship with a friend or a family member or a partner, and it didn't work out, all right? So you go into the next friendship. And you go into the next relationship with a partner and you're like, oh, such and such did me wrong like this. And you always being negative, saying negative things that that negative person did, right? And basically, triggers happen. What are triggers? Triggers is something that, you, that happened to you in the past and you see it happening again in the future. Let me just tell you one thing. If you fucking go into a friendship or a relationship thinking negative, Thinking something's gonna happen and it's not gonna work out, guess what? The shit is not gonna work out because it's your mindset. You're already going into it thinking negative. Like, it's so fucking draining. Like, how do y'all literally live like that? How do y'all go in each fucking friendship and relationship thinking somebody's after you? Somebody wants the bet worst to happen to you. No, it don't work like that. Okay? Some people are bold enough to let you know when you're doing bullshit. Some people are bold enough to let you know that they have boundaries. And if you don't respect that, you have to go. We cannot be friends. We cannot be in a relationship. Everybody is not against you. Everybody is not after you. So get that out of your mind. It's that, go back to that stinking thinking. You're only in that situation because of the way you think. Everybody is not after you. Everybody don't want the worst for you. You know, I posted that, you know, those that betrayed me. I don't wish bad on them. I pray for them. I want the best to happen for them. And that's what makes me different from a lot of people. I pray for you. I go and intercede on your behalf. I understand what it means to be in pain and betrayed. But I don't live my life going back and forth with the shit. Listen, I am a true believer of giving people a chance. I give everybody a chance to show me who they are. And that's another thing. When somebody tells you something about who they are, believe them. Once they show you who they are, believe them. Stop trying to get a, a paint, you know, get a little colossal. Stop trying to get a paintbrush and stop trying to paint them to what you want them to be. No, when people show you who they are, believe them. And some people have pet peeves. Some people like things a certain way. That don't mean they're being mean to you. That don't mean that they, they're being funny. Oh, they, they, they acting funny. No, some people like shit clean. Some people like shit to smell good. Some people like certain things a certain way. Like some people, okay, you driving somebody's car and they saying, don't park in, always back in. And you go and park in. That person told you they don't like their car to be parked in because they probably got PTSD. They're probably dealing with different things and they like their car a certain way so they can escape fast easy we 
as people don't take the time to listen, to communicate effectively. When somebody communicating with you and they're trying to express their the way they speak, uh, how they feel, listen to them. And it's okay if you don't agree with it. It's a lot of times people have conversations with me and my spirit don't agree with it because you ain't gonna tell me what I am and I know I'm not that, okay? What God says I am, I am. And what the enemy says I am, I'm not, all right? So you don't have to agree with somebody when they're putting certain words on you that you're not, all right? I had somebody call me a narcissist. I had two people call me a narcissist and I went and looked it up what a narcissist is. I don't talk about myself all the damn time. I care about people. I literally help so many people that it, it, it ended up draining me. So I had to go and do what I had to do for me. That don't make me a bad person. That make me a motherfucker that's saying now I'm putting Jamisa first. And some of y'all need to put y'all first. Okay? So be careful when you, you're having a conversation with people. Actually listen. And when you listen to people, you, you start seeing how they fucking think. I'm like, so everybody you ever been friends with is don't fuck with you like that no more? Like why? All your family members don't fuck with you? Why? Your baby father is a deadbeat now because he don't want to be with you and what the fuck? Listen, ladies, I can't talk about the baby mama, baby father thing because I don't have children. I'm about a great Scott. Thank you. Because you know I had some late fucking nights. <laughs> And I did some crazy shit. But other than that, no babies over here. And I don't get baby fever. You know, I get vacation fever. I get let's go to fuck somewhere and have fun fever. That's what I have. But it's all in how you think. It's your perception. And what I like about this book as well, stop thinking everybody think like you. Stop thinking everybody is going to live the life you want them to live. Because you're like, oh, but you need to do this. You should do this, 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 this. No, all a motherfucker needs to do is breathe. And make healthy decisions for themselves. I don't know how many times I got in a conversation with somebody. And they didn't agree what I said. But I'm like, okay, my spirit said back off. When I talk to people and I say certain things. And then it starts getting confrontational. My spirit say back off. Because at the end of the day, a motherfucker. Damn. I keep getting eye boogers. My thing, I did my face and shit. Oh well. Anyway, you know, so when I get in like conversations with people and they don't agree with what I'm saying, I just change the subject. And motherfuckers get upset because I want to change the subject. I don't want to sit there and argue with you all day because guess what? That is the way you think. I think a totally different way. Boom. We don't agree on this, so let's d agree to disagree and go about the fucking day. But one thing you got to do is stop the stinking thinking. If you keep thinking, oh, you just like that person. You just like that person. Oh, you ain't no good just like the last nigga. Guess what? That nigga ain't going to be no good because you already have in your mind just because he didn't call you fast enough. And <clears throat> shotgun in my head because I be like that. Oh, why the fuck he ain't texting all fast? Before when we first was talking, he was texting fast. I got to remember, shit happens to people. Like, and that's what I, I read in this book too. It's so funny. Um, when I was in the chapter I was reading yesterday, um, it was saying that how the friend, you know, she was going to this event and she hit up her other friend and was like, hey, you want to come with me? And the friend was like, oh no, it's my birthday. And then, first of all, if that's your friend, you should know when your friend's birthday. Not like my best friend. She got three birthdays. <laughs> but, um, but basically, freaking, um, so the girl... She um she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot it's your birthday. And she felt guilty. And she kept saying sorry to the girl, texting the girl. And she wasn't getting no response. So she felt, at first she felt sad. Then she felt like, oh, fuck that bitch. Like, like in my terms, like how the book was saying, like, fuck the girl. She ain't want to text back or whatever. Da, 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 da. All to find out, after that girl texts you that last text, her phone fell in the toilet. Like shit happens to people. I remember I was texting somebody, one of my clients, I was texting her, and the next thing you know it, she got in an accident. You have to realize, shit happens to people. Everybody grew up a different way. Everybody don't have manners. Everybody don't have etiquette. 
everybody don't think the way you think. And once you get that through your fucking head, you stop think, taking everything personal. That's another book I love, The Four Agreements. One of the agreements is don't take shit personal. Stop taking shit personal. Just live your fucking life. Like, my other best friend, he's so nonchalant. Like, I don't know what to do with Phil. Phil be like, I don't get fucking angry. And shit happened to him, and he be like, he just figured the shit out. A lot of us don't even do that. We want to get on the phone, tell this person, tell that person. Instead of figuring shit out. Okay, your baby mama kick you out the house. Okay, figure the shit out. Your car broke down. Like, right now, my car don't even fucking drive. I don't need to be driving anyway, but you know. The car won't start. I could be mad, I could be upset, but no, I'm looking at the positive in the situation. I'm in Florida. I don't need to be fucking driving in Florida. I know me. I know if I gotta get somewhere, I'm be like, yo, fuck it, I'm getting in a car, I'm driving. No. Think of the positive in your situation. Stop thinking negative. Everybody don't live like you. Everybody don't have manners like you. Everybody wasn't brought up like you. Everybody don't know how to clean like you. Everybody don't know how to cook like you. Now, see, I clean. I don't cook. I only cook with if I have to. But I want y'all to just take life, look at life in a different perspective. Stop always thinking negative. Shit don't happen for you if you keep thinking negative. You're going to be in the same situation. You're going to keep having the same problems over and over with the next friend, the next friend, the next friend, the next family member, whatever. Stop boohoo crying and telling your story to everybody. Some people don't give a fuck. That ain't your tribe. That ain't your people. Like, especially if you ain't a life coach. Like, come on now. As a life coach, you know your story is going to touch people, certain people's lives. It's going to reach certain people. And I know my story, for those that listen and sit down and listen to it, will understand. Because those are my people. Those are my tribe. Those are the ladies that God has for me to pour into and there's ladies that pour into me that helps me it's people that's living lives that they don't even know inspire me like um one of the young ladies she she bought a fucking house and i'm like yo and then when she showed her son the son like cried like i don't know if he was crying or she was crying but the way the video was i cried and it was tears of joy when the last time you was actually happy for somebody when the last time you was happy for yourself a lot of us, we're doing certain things. We pray for things that we have now and we're not even thanking God for it. I pray to have an, a, a nice place. I pray to have palm trees in front of my window. I had it, I have it on my fucking um, vision board I did in 2015. Everything you want will come to, fruit, to fruition. The fruits of your labor will fucking come if you stop thinking negative. Stop blaming everybody. Okay, that friendship didn't work out. That relationship didn't work out with that partner. Okay, mommy and daddy ain't in your life. Okay. At this point, fuck them. Your kid's not appreciated. I will say fuck them kids, but I don't want nobody to get all riled up. Oh my gosh, she said fuck them kids. No, but at the end of the day, if nobody don't appreciate you, appreciate yourself. And that's it. Because it feel good out here, but it ain't sunny. <laughs> It's not sunny today. I thought I was going to be in a pool, living my best life, reading my book. But no. But other than that, share this video. And if you missed some of it, go back and watch it again. Just take some points. Take some notes. Something may help you. I don't know. But other than that, stop thinking negative. Stop thinking everybody is against you. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. And live the life you want to fucking live because you only got one life. Unless you got hit by a car like me and now you got a second chance of life. And now you got to be like... God, what you want me to do? Because at the end of the day, we're all on this world to have a purpose, live a purpose. And um, it's up to you to figure out what it is. All right. So later, I love y'all and appreciate yourself, love yourself and get shit done. Later. <laughs>